I wanted to show how we use the TDR as a microwave vector network analyzer. Of course, we have to measure something we know before we measure something we don't. So I configured the TDR. I rotated it 180 degrees to turn the splitter around so that we measure on the oscilloscope before we get to the 50 ohm output resistor. That makes it look like a traditional vector network analyzer with a 50 ohm source. I mounted a 20 dB microwave attenuator so we can measure something we know. No. And, sorry, that is an 18 dB attenuator. And if we can see here on the line, you can see that we are measuring, oh, just about, oh, minus, minus 18 dB, roughly. 18, 18 and a half. So there's the something that we know. I measured a, I mounted a microwave bandpass filter on a small printed circuit board. And so now we'll stick that into our vector network analyzer. And here you can see our center frequency is about 3.6 gigahertz. And we have an insertion loss of about 4 dB in band. And that's about right. So we can measure a microwave filter pretty well have another one here, so let's try that one too, just because we can. If I remember right, this one's a 2.5 GHz bandpass filter. Similar device, just a different frequency. You see it also has a slightly different shape. That's 2.5 GHz, it has less than 3 dB insertion loss in band, and then of course you can see the side bands. So that's how we um, use the TDR as a microwave vector network analyzer.